I want to really work for something that matters. The ability for the everyday person to make a dent into how we're getting our energy is really important. Each one of us is becoming more sensitized to the impact of man on the environment. Extreme weather events are going to play more and more of a role. We need the best of minds. We need passionate people. We need people looking to make a huge difference. You're going to see Enphase really be leading the way. This is the place to be. My name is David Stanton. I'm a mechanical design engineer here at Enphase. I'm Chris Like, and I work on the uh, storage innovation team for CTO as a mechanical design engineer. My name is Chris Young, and I'm the director of uh, storage innovation at Enphase Energy. I always knew I was going to be an engineer growing up. I have a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and a master's degree in mechanical engineering, both from the University of Michigan. I graduated last spring from Dartmouth, and the engineering program there is, is kind of unique because you don't have to choose a specific field of engineering. It's just a general Bachelor of Engineering degree. Growing up, I thought I wanted to be a research scientist. In my undergraduate work, I was uh, trained to be a physicist. I want to work on something that is going to help solve the climate crisis, so I applied. I'm only going to apply to companies that I want to work for, and Enphase was one of those companies. When I was job searching, I really was hoping to find something that would push me to grow as an engineer and as a leader in my work, and I've been able to do that very much at Enphase already. After a new college graduate arrives, I team them up with a partner, someone that still remembers what it is to be a new person at the company, someone that can sit next to them and work side by side as a peer, but also as somebody who kind of knows the ropes within the company. When I first joined and I got paired with a senior battery engineer, I've been working with him and he's been mentoring me about developing um, battery packs. It only took a couple months for me to feel very comfortable uh, moving around the office and, and speaking up in meetings. You're not going to be just thrown into the fire here. When I started here, I was assigned a mentor who's stuck with me. He and I split the R4 IQ battery project. I actually do work here. I'm not just, you know, thrown in some corner because there's a, a new college grad hiring requirement. I was really surprised just in the first few weeks, I was able to be uh, in meetings with the, the CEO and the CTO and hearing them discuss future plans. My work is directly being considered by executives and people leading the company. As part of my work, I've presented to the executive team, including the CEO. My work has been in the investment day presentations that go out to all of our investors. What we do is we take batteries and we combine them with our microinverter product, which has been a cornerstone of Enphase's technology for the past 15 years. And so you can produce your own solar, store it in your batteries, and then at night you can discharge and store energy in your batteries and not be relying on the grid. It's incredible to be the guy who has a lot of definition around what this product is going to be. That really is meaningful work. You're impacting millions of people around the globe. I mean, I'm pushing my parents to put an IQ battery system in their house right now, and I got to design something that I would put in my own parents' home, and that's really important. I think a big factor in, in developing the batteries is trying to reduce the cost of materials. The raw materials that make up cells, lithium, and those kind of raw metals can be expensive. And then also just packaging batteries inside of our battery products, reducing costs there. It's super cool walking through the office, walking through the lab, and being able to work on products that will actually be going in people's homes around the world. You get a lot of responsibility definitely starting off, but that's um, important. So we moved into this lab a couple of months ago. We're almost at capacity at this lab. And there's a lot of cool equipment that's going in here. It was really driven out of the Austin site being a really successful site for product development. So that's how we got this brand new fancy lab. And that's how we're gonna have continued investment in Austin. I moved to Austin mostly because I was excited for the job at Enphase, but I found that there's so much to do here and it's really a great place to live with lots of barbecue and music and things to do outside. I was really happy with that choice and been able to meet a lot of people that, that I've been friends with. The town has its own culture and soul to it. It's the next boomtown and Enphase recruits and retains the best. 